practice uh, medicine Buddha Puja to benefit Susan McClure. Uh, and this is this is the dedication. Um, there's no, s I guess the Kadamba Center is no. the, the uh, sponsor. Okay. For Susan McClure, may she pass peacefully and happily through the bardo. May she take a beneficial, precious human rebirth and meet the Tarma. May she meet only fully qualified, kind and compassionate Mahayana teachers who will lead her faultlessly on the path to enlightenment. And may she quickly become enlightened. For all her family and friends, may they find comfort. Just visualize that, that you are ringing the bell because the Ramula has some, you know, the bothers her ear. So, so just just visualize. Okay. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming. So <coughs> I met uh, Susan many many times, and and I invited her to my house for lunch. So then after that, you know, she tells me when to have lunch. <laughs> she tells me, <laughs> first time I invited one time, then after that we have many times we have lunch together. I cook, so she very much likes Tibetan food. So then she tells me when to have lunch, <laughs> and she brings her friend, I, r I forgot his name, like Dean. Dean. Yeah. Oh, you came here one time, right? You came, then there's another one, uh, usually he drives, sometimes he drives, tall black man. Yeah, and he comes, and so says, "Okay, today I'm going to bring my friend." I said, "Yes." <laughs> so, she <laughs> so the each time whenever she comes here, I hold her hand, I take her out. Every time she comes, then I hold her hand, and take her to, to around the stupa. So each time, so, <coughs> so then unfortunately I was in California, and I, I heard she passed away. So I said a lot of prayers, and also I asked the center that I've been teaching in La San Jose. So the group, we did prayers for her. So, and I will continuously pray for her better rebirth. Since I heard the news, so I, I light candle every single day. I light candle 24 hours for her. So every single day I light candle for her. So then we continue to pray. You know, so <coughs> she's a wonderful person. And yeah, so yeah, so so I enjoy her company. So she has uh, <laughs> uh, different questions, and <laughs> yeah, she's uh, nice. So I so 
karmically connected to her. So <coughs> and thank you very much to all of you coming here and showing support. Okay. So the silver prayer book will pay, uh, start on page 102. Nature incorporating mm -hmm. the entire body, speech, mind, qualities, and activity mm -hmm. of all the Tathagatas of the three times and ten directions, source of 84,000 mm -hmm. collections of dharmas, Lord of all Arya Sangha, I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus. I seek refuge in the completely mm -hmm. enlightened Lord Buddhas. I seek refuge in the holy dharma. I seek refuge in the Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities. Mm -hmm. I seek refuge in the glorious mm -hmm. holy protectors, dharma protector guardians endowed with the wisdom eye. Nature incorporating the entire body, speech, mind, qualities, and activity of all the Tathagatas of the three times and ten directions. Source of 84,000 collections of dharmas, Lord of all Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus. Oh, I seek humbula. refuge in the complete. Yeah. Lord Bruce. I seek seek refuge in the Arya Sangha. I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Mersin Buddhas with their host of retinue deities. I seek refuge in the glorious holy protectors, Dharma protector guardians endowed with the wisdom I am. No, one second. So I just want to say uh, one more thing. <coughs> Suzanne is very familiar with this practice because she's been to, we did Kadambas and we did practice this practice many times. So she did came, she's very familiar with the practice. So according to Buddhist cosmology, so what happens when people pass away? There's like 49 day, 49 days, there's like intermediate called intermediate state called Pardo. The maximum lifespan of Pardo state is like 49 days, 70 weeks. So <coughs> and that Pardo being possessed some kind of miracle powers, miracle powers. So that means uh, the minute they think they're just there, you know, like like our thought, like that, you no, know, like it has like very like uh, the body is like form of light, you know, it, it it travels like that, so nothing can stop, so it could go through the wall, everything. So anyway, it uh, possess some kind of miracle power, and uh, during the forty nine uh, days, <coughs> so whatever you know, their friends. Uh, family members you know, doing, and they, the part of knows, part of knows. So our voice, uh, she hears what everything that we say. She hears, or she hears, and she's very familiar with this environment. She's been here many, many times, many, many times, and also she's been here like when we do medicine Buddha practice, many times. She's she's very familiar with this practice, so. <coughs> And uh, don't like uh, don't think oh she is like she she cannot hear she can hear so that's how this prayer is benefit her okay so <coughs> any obstacles towards her path for the next journey will remove all the obstacles okay <coughs> hmm. <coughs> then hearing the the medicine Buddha's name so this is a healing practice healing practice. Uh, it's very typically we do in our Tibetan community, if somebody passes away, we do medicine Buddha practice. So I'm so grateful the Kadamba Center is sponsoring this practice for on behalf of you know, Suzanne. So <coughs> and while we are saying this prayer, she will hear, she will hear. That's important to understand. Oh, sorry for interruption. No? <coughs> Mm. Oh. oh yeah. <coughs> oh, Susan. Thank, thank you, Susan. <laughs> mm. Mm, yeah. <coughs> uh, not like that. No, she's been talking about her death with me many, many times, many times. So uh, I think she's not afraid. So that's very good news. So, okay. Anyway, so please continue. <coughs> okay. <coughs> 
Nature incorporating the entire body, speech, mind, qualities and activity of all the Tathagatas of the three times and ten directions, source of 84,000 collections of Tarmas, Lord of all Arya Sangha, I seek refuge in the kind and glorious holy root and lineage gurus, I seek refuge in the completely enlightened Lord Buddha, I seek refuge in the holy Tarma, I seek refuge in the Arya Sangha, I seek refuge in the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas with their hosts of retinue deities, I seek refuge and the glorious holy protectors, Tarma protector guardians, endowed with the wisdom mind. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. All sentient beings who, although self and all appearances are dhamma by nature, have not realized it thus. I shall endow with happiness and the causes of happiness. I shall separate from suffering and the causes of suffering. I shall make inseparable from happiness without suffering. And I shall set in equanimity the cause of well-being, free from attachment, aversion, and partiality. All sentient beings who, although self and all appearances are dhammadhatu by nature, have not realized it thus. I shall endow with happiness and the causes of happiness. I shall separate from suffering and the causes of suffering. I shall make inseparable from happiness without suffering, and I shall set in equanimity the cause of well-being, free from attachment, aversion, and partiality. All sentient beings who, although self and all appearances are dhammadhatu by nature, have not realized it thus. I shall endow with happiness and the causes of of happiness. I shall separate from suffering and the causes of suffering. I shall make inseparable from happiness without suffering, and I shall set in equanimity the cause of well-being, free from attachment, aversion, and partiality. For the welfare of all mother sentient beings, I need to attain complete Buddhahood. Therefore, I am going to engage in the stages of the path, such as prostrating, making offerings, and heartfelt requests, and treating the holy mind to grant blessings to the eight brothers gone to bliss, the Lord Medicine Buddhas, with their hosts of retinue deities. Through the power of the supreme truths of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas blessings, the might of the two collections and the purity of the Dharmadhatu, may this realm's beings and environment be enriched like Sukhavati with all the desirable perfections of both samsara and nirvana, jewel ground adorned with trees and with ponds, whose bottoms are covered with gold, silver, and pearl dust, flowers strewn in sandalwood fragrance rising, human divine enjoyments, Samanda Bhadra's offerings, everywhere. Oh, there in the center of a charming jewel palace, jewel, 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 on lotus and lion thrones, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas abide. May everywhere be filled with oceans of clouds of offerings which they enjoy, born through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasara Pramadanaye Tathagataya Arahate Samaksam Buddhaya Teyata Om Vajra Vajra Maha Vajra Maha Teja Vajra Maha Vidya Vajra Maha Bodhi Chitta Vajra Maha Bodhi Mandopasam Kramana Vajra Savakawa Avarana Vishodana Vajra Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasara Pramadanaye Tathagataya Arahate Samaksam Buddhaya Teyata Om Vajra Vajra Maha Vajra Maha Teja Vajra Mahabodhicitta <laughs> and skip down to optional extensive version. By the power of truth of the three rare sublime ones, the blessings of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the great wealth of the completed two collections, and the sphere of phenomena being pure and inconceivable. May these piles of clouds of offerings arising through transformation by the Bodhisattvas, Arya, Samantabhadra, Manjushri, and so forth, unimaginable and inexhaustible, equaling the sky, arise, and in the eyes of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the ten directions be received. 
compassionate protectors in degenerate time, seven sugatas, Buddha Shakyamuni, holy dharma, bodhisattvas, and gardens, invited as the support and protector oh, refuge to protect others and myself, may you come here, gather, and grant your blessings. Root guru, whose kindness is without equal, king of the Shakyas, Manjushu, Shantarikshita, and so on, holding in their hands this profound sutra, to the direct and lineage gurus, I prostrate. To the compassionate ones who liberate destitute beings, seven Sugatas, Buddha, Shakyamuni, and Holy Dharma, Manjushi, Kyabdhuru, Vajrapani, Brahma, and Ishvara, and the Maharajas and Yakshas, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Great Bhagawan Assembly, pray, listen. Seven Sugatas, just as you promised, your previous prayers will be fulfilled during the final period of Shakyamuni's teachings. Pray, show me in actuality it is true. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned and glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and grow for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned and glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and grow for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned and glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer, and grow for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned and glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, Offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. Please may the pleasures you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden in color with mudra of granting refuge. Who accomplished eight prayers majestic with the glory of two accumulations. Glorious one of the Buddha field unconquered by others. To renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate. In flowers of the major marks flourishing and pure, anthers of minor signs, such a beautiful body. One who sees, hears, or thinks of you is glorified. To renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated to the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering, may all sentient beings such as ourselves be free from epidemics, execution, criminals, and spirits, have faculties fully complete, have the continuum of suffering and negativities cut, not fall to lower realms and experience the happiness of humans and gods. With hunger, thirst, and poverty pacified, may there be wealth. Without torments of bodies such as bondings and beatings, without harm of tigers, lions, and snakes, with conflict pacified, endowed with loving minds and relieved from fear of flood as well, may we pass to fearless bliss. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors, such as renowned glorious king of excellent signs, and cause them delight. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, filled with radiance and skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, filled with radiance and skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, filled with radiance and skill, Known with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, 
king of melodious sound, bearing a radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagwan, Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, king of melodious sound, bearing a radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Yellow in color with mudra of granting the Supreme, who accomplished eight prayers majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious wonder of the Buddha field endowed with jewels, I prostrate to king of melodious sound. Well adorned with jewel moon and lotus, wisdom expanded in mastery of all noble objects, endowed with the mind as deep as the ocean, I prostrate at the feet of king of melodious sound. I make every collection of offerings equally arranged and emanated to the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment, to the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, offering, for all sentient beings such as ourselves, may the distracted flourish in the Tarma, have wealth and goods of humans and gods, without torment at conception, be always born human, never be separated from bodhicitta, increase in virtuous Tarma, purify obscurations, and attain the happiness of humans and gods. May we be freed from being separated from the spiritual guide, from dark ages, spirit harm, death, and enemies, and from the dangers of isolated places. May we have enthusiasm for making offerings and performing ritual services. May lesser beings have samadhi, mindfulness, strength, the dharani of non-forgetfulness, and attain supreme wisdom. May tormenting fires be cooled. And when we pass away from this side, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of Congress, such as king of melodious sound, and cause them delight. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, full of light and Buddha, saying this excellent goal, great jewel who conquers all vows, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, full of light and Buddha, saying this excellent goal, great jewel who conquers all vows, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, full of light and Buddha, saying this excellent goal, great jewel who conquers all vows, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, full of light and Buddha, Staying this excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, staying this excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, staying this excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, staying this excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, staying this excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, staying this excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, staying this excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, staying this excellent gold, great jewel who accomplishes all vows, I prostrate offering go for refuge. I prostrate offering go for refuge. Please may the pleasures you may ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden in color like the river Tsambu with Dharma teaching mudra. Having accomplished four prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field, incense filled, I prostrate to stainless excellent gold. Paramount among golds like the gold of the river Tsambu, blazing with more radiance than a thousand suns. Body like a stainless golden stupa, I prostrate to stainless excellent gold. I make every collection of offerings aptly arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment, to the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering. For all sentient beings such as ourselves, may the short live gain longevity, the poor full wealth. May combatants come to have loving minds. May we not be without training and fall to the lower realms, but be bound by our vows and never without bodhicitta. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as stainless excellent gold and cause them delight. 
to the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate to the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, and prostrate offering go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Like red in color with mudra of meditated equipoise, who accomplished four prayers, majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field without sorrow, I prostrate to supreme glory, free from sorrow. Pass beyond sorrow, attain to supreme bliss. Pacify our sentient beings, three poisons and sufferings. Protect your beings of the six realms to the glorified one, supreme glory, free from sorrow, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering, for all sentient beings such as ourselves, may sorrow and the like always be pacified and life be long and happy. May the conqueror's light increase bliss and joy in the hells. May we have brightness, beauty, and wealth, unharmed by spirits. May we have love for each other, and may there be no disease. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors such as supreme glory free from sorrow and cause them delight to the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, a lotus ocean of flame and dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, a lotus ocean of flame dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, a lotus ocean of flame dharma, I prostrate, offer, and go for refuge. Please, may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers Immediately. Pink and color with mudra of teaching the Dharma, who accomplished four prayers majestic with the glory of two accumulations, glorious one of the Buddha field, victory banner of Dharma, I prostrate to melodious ocean of acclaimed Dharma, great sound of Dharma conquering adversaries, endowed with speech as deep as the ocean, pacifier of being suffering without exception, I prostrate to melodious ocean of acclaimed Dharma, and make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra. Samadhi and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the force of hearing the conqueror's name, expressing it, remembering, prostrating, and offering, for all sentient beings such as ourselves, may we always have perfect view and faith, hear the sound of dharma, and be enriched with bodhicitta. For the sake of resources, may we give up negativities, may wealth increase, may we abide in love, have long lives, and be content. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of conquerors, such as melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, and cause them delight. 
就是忙个忙，吵吵架架，耳好不能来。对对对对对，我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我那都我
May hardships of heat and cold be pacified and all good wishes be fulfilled. Endowed with morality that pleases the Aryas, may we be liberated. And when we pass away from this life, may we be born from a lotus in that Buddha field, qualities complete, become a vessel for transmitting the teachings of Congress, such as medicine guru, king of doctors, and cause them delight. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, glorious conqueror Shakyamuni, I prostrate, offer and go for refuge. Please may the pledges you made ripen upon myself and all sentient beings right now. May all my pure prayers succeed immediately. Golden and color with the <laughs> pressing mudra, who through the force of unique great compassion and enthusiasm became the glorious one of this, the fearless world system, I prostrate to the supreme leader, head of the Shakyas. Born in the Shakya lineage out of skillful means and compassion, unchallenged by others, conquered Mara's forces, body majestic as a golden Mount Meru, I prostrate to the king of the Shakyas. I make every collection of offerings actually range and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice and virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Pray, bless us and all beings who lack a protector, to receive here immediately without exception the benefits as taught by the Supreme Teacher in the extensive sutra ritual of Medicine Buddha. So the next stanza will say three times. Supreme Lamp dispelling the darkness of ignorance, Foremost of medicines yeah, alleviating yeah, suffering yeah, and disease, yeah, see yeah, the yeah, entire yeah, sublime yeah, jewel yeah, of Tarma, yeah, I prostrate, yeah, offer and go for refuge. Supreme lamp dispelling yeah, the darkness yeah, of ignorance, yeah, foremost yeah, of medicines yeah, alleviating yeah, suffering and disease, yeah, to the entire sublime jewel of Tarma, yeah, I prostrate, yeah, offer and go for refuge. Yeah, Supreme yeah, lamp dispelling yeah, the darkness yeah, of ignorance, yeah, foremost of medicines alleviating yeah, suffering yeah, and disease, yeah, to the entire yeah, sublime yeah, jewel of Tarma, yeah, I prostrate, yeah, offer and go for refuge. Homage to the mother of the victorious ones, perfection of wisdom and holy dharma are the three jewel vehicles who totally dispels the dark seed of suffering's cause and uproots the pain of suffering completely. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated through the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Through the blessings of the truth of the holy Tarma Jewel, may I and all others henceforth in all our lives practice the Buddha's teachings in their entirety exactly as the Buddha's intended. The conqueror's heart commitments were invoked by 36,000 sons of Sugatas, including Manjushi, Kabdrul, and Vajrapani, thus requested they proclaim this sutra's benefits. Pray manifest all of them for me here and now, and to the worldly protector Yaksha leaders as well, as you promised to do before previous teachers, to stop enemies, harmers, and epidemics, pacify all conflict, and increase physical and mental bliss, increase wealth, power, property, crops, and lifespan, accomplish the desired goals as we wish, and always protect us without break. Okay, so there are two uh, mantras. There's a long mantra at the in the first box at the top of the page, and then down towards the bottom is a, a smaller uh, box. That's the short uh, Medicine Buddha mantra. So um, let's say the uh, long mantra out loud seven times, and then the short one, mm, let's see, do uh, 21 times, t 20 times to ourselves, and we'll say the 21st one together. So do, do the long one. Om Namo Bhagavate Bekanze Guru Bedurya Taba Radzaya Tata Gataya 
Arhate, Samyaksam, Udaya, Teyata, Om, Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha, Bekanze, Bekanze, Radza, Samu, Gate, Soha. Om, Namo, Bhagavate, Bekanze, Guru, Beriria, Taba, Gataya, Tata, Gataya, Arhate, Samyaksam, Udaya, Teyata, Om, Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samagate Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Bekanze Guru Bedirya Tabarazaya Tatagataya Arhate Samyaksam Buddhaya Teyata Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samagate Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Bekanze Guru Bedirya Tabarazaya Tatagataya Arhate Samyaksam Buddhaya Teyata Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samukate Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Bekanze Guru Bedirya Tabarazaya Tatagataya Arhate Samyaksam Buddhaya Teyata Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samukate Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Bekanze Guru Bedirya Tabarazaya Tatagataya Arhate Samyaksam Buddhaya Teyata Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samukate Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Bekanze Guru Bedirya Tabarazaya Tatagataya Arhate Samyaksam Buddhaya Teyata Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samukate Soha Teyata Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samukate Teyata Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Teatro Bekas and Bekas and Mom Bekas and Bekas and Mom Bekas and Bekas and Bekas and Mom Bekas and 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 Bekas Teyata Om Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samu Gate Soha Guru whose kindness is without equal, king of the Shakyas, Manjushri, Shantariksha, and so on, holding in their hands this profound sutra to the direct and lineage gurus, I prostrate. To the compassion ones and liberate destitute beings, to the seven Sugatas, Buddha, Shakyamuni, and the Holy Tarma, to Manjushri, Kyabdu, Vajrapani, Brahma, Nishvara, and the Maharajas and Yakshas, I prostrate. I make every collection of offerings actually arranged and emanated to the force of mantra, samadhi, and aspiration. I confess all downfalls and negativities, rejoice in virtues. Request and beseech and dedicate such virtues as these to the great enlightenment. Whatever I've done or caused to be done that was unprepared or degenerated or done with my deluded mind, please be patient with all of these. Whatever the beings of this degenerate age have done of lesser merit mixed with ignorant delusions that did not fulfill the Aris wishes, Please be patient with these as well. Under the influence of miserliness, lacking in skill, having made bad offerings or faulty arrangements, O protector endowed with great compassion, please be patient with these as well. 
whatever was superfluous or left undone, degeneration in parts of the ritual or whatever was forgotten, please be patient with these as well. By remaining here together with this image, for the sake of all migrators, may you grant us long life without illness, power, and supreme attainment. Om Sutatita Danzaye Boha. The hosts of medicine Buddha deities, pervading all directions <coughs> and around the space with perfection. Some raining down multicolored lotuses, some singing songs requesting goodness, some acting to conquer Mars and other and all bestowing on you supreme good fortune. Know this full well and be very joyful, and I shall voice sweet melody expressing auspiciousness. Supreme teacher of humans and gods, Touching my crown to your feet, of jewel moon, the glory of good fortune of Kamuda flowers blossoming, to Munindra, moon of expounders, I prostrate. Manjushri and great abbot Shantarakshita, Chisondets and Atisha, father and sons, second conquered Losandrapa, and so on, to the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities, of the supreme root and lineage gurus, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon, may be auspicious and joy the glory of perfection. Action. Accomplishing a supreme ocean of prayers, invoking truth, during the teachings to climb for protectorless beings, who are untamed by other sun-like conquerors, to the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of those seven sagatas, protectors during degenerate times, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon, may be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Arising well from the broad lotus-like tongue of the Lord of the Able Ones, especially exalted even in the later days the Shaka's teachings, such that if performed one gains the essence of immortality's ambrosia, to the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of that king of the vast and profound Sutra Pitaka, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon, may be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of those children of the lineage performing the sutra ritual by simply reciting the names of the kings of doctors of all realms, ten directions, and through the especially extensive prayer of the teacher of Buddha and the Sugatas, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon may be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. Accomplished through the compassion mantra of the Sagata, through faith, samadhi, and words of truth, construction of jewels, abode of the three jewels beyond the three realms, through the auspiciousness of all collected good qualities of that supreme Buddha field equal to Sukhavati, may all negativity and degeneration be ended, and bliss and goodness increasing like the waxing moon may be auspicious to enjoy the glory of perfection. I'd like to read the dedication again for Susan McClure as she pass peacefully and happily through the bardo. May she take a beneficial, precious human rebirth and meet the dharma. May she meet only fully qualified, kind, and compassionate Mahayana teachers who will lead her faultlessly on the path to enlightenment. And may she quickly become enlightened for all her family and friends. May they find comfort. So the dedication prayers. Yeah. Okay. Sampo chuchu rap tungo wargi. 
due to the merits accumulated over the three times by myself and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, which are empty from their own side, may the eye who is empty from its own side achieve the state of enlightenment, which is empty from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are empty from their own side to that state as quickly as possible by myself alone. Because of all the merits of the three times created by me and all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and other sentient beings, may there be no wars, famines, disease, quarreling, fighting, or unhappy minds. May there be great prosperity, and may everything needed be easily obtained. May all the human beings in the world be guided by spiritual leaders teaching only Tama, and may everyone enjoy the happiness of Dhamma. So let's say some long life prayers in the gold prayer book. I think it's 244 and 245. Ganida we cold wishing come de and on the wall malusion when it cherries we want in the gatso ye sabbis in the part to ten juicy John Uyan along was your two avatar at some barat sofa those on gave a dead on the pelt show just you can go la maso and Seven green tar mantras, <coughs> special and gift samples, long, healthy, happy life. Om tare tu tare tu re so ha. 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 Om tare tu tare tu re so ha.
Say something. Yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, there are a lot of people who help Susan so much. So maybe would like to say, party you want to say a few words? So also. Well, um, there's a few um, things I wanted to mention about Susan. Um, the first, in case you didn't know her well, um, she had a really good eye for color. So she could see colors that looked nice uh, against one another, and so she would use that talent for a couple of wonderful things. Um, she would use colored pencils and colored markers, and she would fill in these stencils of flowers or designs, and she found somewhere a whole bunch of them of beautiful taras, and so she would draw them and fill them in in all beautiful colors, and then she'd give her works away to people, um, her friends where she lived, and she'd hang them on her door, she'd hang them on the walls in her home so that she could see them, and that was quite beautiful. Um, she'd also... Um, like to on occasion help um, to select some flowers that we would offer to the Tara statues. So she would go along with me to the store and we would look at some silk flowers because they lasted a little longer and, and so um, she would go to the store and she'd help me pick them out and then a couple of times she actually helped to arrange the little vases of flowers that we then off offered to Tara. And um, you may have noticed that every uh, several times a year we have a little project where we change the flowers out and so the flowers that we then took off from the altar then she would also take those flowers and repurpose them by putting li making little bundles up and giving them to her neighbors and so we um, go from time to time to the thrift stores and we go and look for pretty little vases that we could find at the thrift store and that we use those to, uh, for her to then make up these new f um, bouquets of flowers to give to her neighbors. And she took such delight in the smiles that would come to people's faces as she gave them the flowers. 
And um, it was a always a surprise because they didn't know that they were receiving one. And I'm not sure she even know, knew that they were the ones that were going to get one. She, Once she got out of her door and she had these uh, vases in her hand, she would just give them out to whomever had a smile on their face and welcome getting them. So that was really such a beautiful thing. Um, she um, would take... Uh, delight in some of the very simplest things um, in life. And um, I'll give you an example at the Light of the Path retreat one year. Um, I asked her before going, you know, what is her aspiration for, for going? What did she want to do at the Light of the Path retreat? And her one big thing, her one big wish was to sit by a stream and listen to the water and dip her toes into the water. That was the, her big wish to do. And so, um, you know, we did our very best to help to make that happen. Um, while we were at LOP, her big wish was to have a mala that she purchased be blessed. And so she got that done as well. So it was these um, things that for some of us would say, you know, that's a simple wish, but those are the things that really brought her joy. Um, I did have the opportunity to ask her a while ago, this wasn't, uh, I mean, this was a couple months ago, what were some of her favorite things that she remembered in her life? What are the things that really stood out? And she thought for a while and thought for a while, and then she finally shared two things, one from her childhood and one from, um, uh, from her adulthood. From, for her childhood favorite memory, was the first time that she remembered thinking about Santa flying across in the air being pulled with the reindeer and she said that Santa spoke to her and she never would forget that so she has some kind of very beautiful memory from her childhood with that and as an adult her most favorite memory is something that Geshla al already shared with us today. Her favorite memory was walking around the stupa with Geshla holding her hand. So. So Susan didn't was not a woman of great means, but she did definitely take pride in her generosity and I believe that was uh, part of her Tibetan name or Buddhist name and um, I don't think there was a time that I ever interacted with her that she did not offer something and uh, my last interaction with her was a visit where it was getting close to the end of her life and she and I said mantras, and even though she struggled to breathe when she was saying mantras, she was very relaxed and at peace, I think. So um, I just thought I would share that with you. Um, we lived very close to Susan, so um, we were often doing little things like going to the grocery store for her or um, picking something up that she wanted to give to somebody else, um, <laughs> um, taking her to the doctor, things like that. But uh, she taught us two things. And I say us because I always have these guys with me, so they interacted a lot with her. Um, and she was never afraid to ask for help. She wasn't too prideful to ask for help. And um, even if it was... Um, I know it's, I know it's 10 o'clock at night, but <laughs> can you go to the grocery store for me? And, and I, I always think, um, she taught me to just get over myself and ask for help when you need to ask for help. And she never n n didn't offer something. One time she offered to take us out to eat. And I said, you don't want to do that. You don't want to take us to a restaurant. <laughs> like, we can just, you know, have lunch at home. You come over and we'll dig through my fridge and find something to eat. She said, no, 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 I want momos. So we went to some sort of um, Tibetan restaurant and she just ordered, she knew what to order. She ordered all sorts of things and she didn't get uh, annoyed at all with the way that we interact in a restaurant. <laughs> 
So, um, and being someone without children around her all the time, she was very gracious, very, very generous with her attention and time. I brought Susan here for the first time about three years ago, and I'm so full of joy to hear of all the connections that she made with all of you because I, I've only brought her back a few times and look at all these relationships that grew from one visit. Kondo took her number and she needed a ride and from there you guys just really embraced her. Um, you know, she didn't have a, a, a lot of family close um, in the area and I'm, I'm just really filled, filled with joy hearing all of the relationships that abound from me bringing her, her here one time. It really took off and I just want to thank you for all of that. Thank you. I met Susan in 1977, and for over 40 years, she was a very faithful and loyal friend. Uh, in spite of some of the difficulties that she experienced in her life, she always remained true for me as a friend and was, in some ways, a teacher to me. And. Uh, I, I would agree with her generosity. She was always, in these last few years, uh, when I came to visit her, she always insisted on taking me out to lunch whenever she could. And one of the things that I remember about her is that, uh, how would I say it, she could see people. I remember her coming to our house one time and uh, there was a young woman who was renting a room in my house, and we had a little difficulty with this young woman. She had some issues, as they say. And Susan wasn't there, but maybe 10 minutes. And she looked at me and she said, you all don't like Sarah, do you? <laughs> she, she could see that there was something going on there that wasn't quite right. She, she could see, she was a teacher. And I thank you all for being a community for her. <laughs> 